Thank you for applying for year two of Canola for Our Advantage, the Canola Council of Canada's on-farm Climate Action Fund program, or OFCAP, offering incentives to help growers initiate or advance for our nutrient stewardship on canola acres. I'm Christy Torcia, Program Administrator for Canola for Our Advantage. If you've received an email notification that your Canola for Our Advantage application was approved and you've signed the contribution agreement, you will be able to access claim forms. This tutorial will cover the steps to prepare and submit claims in the digital portal. To access the portal, visit canolacouncil.smartsimple.ca and log in with the same credentials you used to submit your application. If you've forgotten your password, you can use the Forgot Password link to reset it. Draft claim form will generate automatically and can be found in the claim forms area of the portal dashboard. Separate forms must be submitted for each planting season covered in your application. If you only applied for funding of activities in one planting season, like the 2023 planting season, for example, only one form will populate in your portal account. If you applied for funding for both planting seasons, two draft claim forms will populate in your portal account and you will have to complete and submit them both. The grower applicant, for our designated agronomist and any assigned support roles will be able to prepare claims for eligible costs within the Canola for our Advantage portal, but only grower applicants and for our designated agronomists will be able to submit claims for approval. Only eligible costs fully paid by the grower applicant or farm business can be claimed for reimbursement up to the approved funding limit in your application. To begin preparing your claim, click Draft. As you're working on your claim, you can select Save at any time to save your draft claim in its latest form. You can revisit and complete it at any time. Please submit your claim only once all parts have been completed and all necessary documents are uploaded. Once your claim has been submitted, you will not have the ability to modify it. If you submit an incomplete claim in error, please contact Canola for our Advantage staff as soon as possible. Select Open. Read through the instructions and scroll down to start populating your claim form. Select the planting season that the costs in the claim are for. Once you've selected your planting season, scroll down and you'll notice the BMP selection table that includes the BMP field combinations from your approved application. In this claim, please only include eligible costs that are related to the selected planting season and the BMP field combinations from your approved application. These are displayed in the BMP selection table for your reference. Next, you will be asked to identify if there's any changes you'd like to make to the BMP field combinations from your original application. If you have no changes, select no, there are no changes. If you have BMP field combinations in your application that won't be completed or claimed, select that option and select Remove BMP field combinations. Select the plus button to open a new row. Select the field location, then list the BMPs not being completed or claimed and note additional changes or details. Click Save. Following a similar process, you can add any BMP field combinations to your application. These are activities that you're claiming on this form that weren't listed in your original application. Select Add BMP field combinations and follow the same process as you did when you completed your initial application. Click the plus button to add a new row. Once you're done adding in the new BMP field combinations, click Save. There, scroll down to add in the costs for the BMPs you are claiming. Please note, 
If eligible costs were invoiced as bundled services for more than one BMP, for example, soil testing and field zone mapping, please split the bundled cost between the BMPs and assign a fair market value portion to each BMP you are claiming costs for, excluding any ineligible costs. Using the soil testing BMP as an example, click on Add, Edit, Soil Testing BMP Costs. Select the plus button to add a new row. Complete the fields in the row, including the invoice number, description of the cost, unit quantity, unit type, unit cost, and the total eligible cost from the invoice will automatically populate. Use the drop down list to select the lab that was used for the soil sample analysis. Only list costs that relate to the field locations being claimed. The platform will automatically generate the 85% eligible cost share from the eligible cost you input. Once done adding in your costs, click Save. Follow the same process to add additional costs for other BMPs included in your application, like field zone mapping and enhanced efficiency fertilizer. Once you're done adding in the BMP costs, add in any costs to be claimed for your 4R plan development if you applied for them. If you did not apply for 4R plan development costs, you can skip this step. Enter the total eligible costs for 4R plan development and press save. The platform will automatically generate the 85% cost share. Next, you will need to upload invoices and proof of payment for each BMP cost you're claiming, including the 4R plan if applicable. Invoices and proof of payment must be in the name of the grower applicant or farm business for all claimed costs. A reminder, eligible costs must be invoiced and paid by the applicant between April 1st, 2023 and March 31st, 2024. Acceptable forms of proof of payment include credit card or debit card receipt identifying the amount and to whom payment was made, electronic payment confirmation, copy of front and back of a canceled check, electronic image of a processed check, bank statement identifying the amount and to whom payment was made. Credit or debit card numbers and unrelated costs should be redacted or blacked out on receipts prior to uploading. Please note that a receipt or invoice stamped paid will not suffice as proof of payment. It needs to be supported by one of the acceptable forms listed. If claiming SuperU or ESN, make sure to upload the same day quote for standard nitrogen fertilizer to support your claim if this information is not already included on your invoice. Drag and drop invoices and proof of payment files into the window or select browse files to search your device for the file to upload. Once you've uploaded all invoices and proofs of payment for the costs you are claiming, the next step is to indicate if you have or if you will be receiving funding from any other source. If yes, please input the funding sources along with the amount received or to be received. The final step is to review the claim declarations and attest to the statements listed by selecting Yes. Once you've completed the claim form, click Submit to send the claim to Canola for our Advantage Program Administrators for review. You will be notified via email of any revisions required to your claim. Before you submit your claim, make sure you've completed all parts, including any changes to fields included in the BMP table, and that you have uploaded the required invoices and acceptable proofs of payment. Once a claim is submitted, it can no longer be modified. The Electronic Funds Transfer Authorization Form 
and both the grower and agronomist final attestations for the claimed planting season need to be completed before claims can be paid. These forms can be found on your homepage in the portal. You will be notified via email when your claim has been approved for payment. The Canola for Our Advantage team would be happy to assist with claim submissions and answer any questions you have. Our team can be contacted directly by email or by phone. Visit the Canola Council of Canada website at canolacouncil.org slash 4R-Advantage for complete program details. Contact information for program staff can be found on the Canola Council website as well. Thank you again for your interest in Canola for Our Advantage.